Hey there beautiful faces! In today's video we're trying out a new game called Dirty Secret! Hey guys, Kelly from the future here. While this video was in editing, I received the unfortunate news that this Kickstarter project has been put on hold because of a legal dispute. It kind of sucks because it's actually a pretty cool game, but despite this I was told I could post the video for you guys' entertainment anyway. I'll still link the cancel Kickstarter page in the description in case you just simply want to check it out. Anyway, I'm really sorry about this, but there's nothing I can do, so I just hope you'll enjoy the video anyway. Therefore, today's video is probably going to be a bit TMI, so even though I don't know the questions this game contains yet, if you are a sensitive soul, you might want to skip this one. Because knowing myself, I'm not exactly the one to sugarcoat things, and also, there will be wine involved. So even less sugarcoating. But before we get into the game, I would like to shout out a really talented follower who made this portrait of me. Drew this portrait of me, even. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for making me hotter. If you want to check out their Instagram, it's right here. I think. Wherever I put it on the screen. Or <laughs> um, drawings, or write drawings, or however you want to pronounce it. I don't know, but it's there. Give it a follow! So how this is going to go down is that I'll explain a little bit about the real rules of the game now and then play my own little version later because you do have to be several people for this game to work as intended since it's a party game and not a drinking alone on a Sunday game. What? I've had a hard week. Anyway, this is the game prototype and I absolutely adore the artwork on this box because many of these scenarios are actually really creepy, but they manage to make creepy look really cute. Wow. Let's dive into the rules. Music. Welcome to the real Dirty Secret Party Game rules, and apparently an exception to these rules are if you are a sad and broke 25-year-old student who drinks alone on Sundays. I said it's been a hard week! Place the secret box and the deck of question cards in the middle of the table. Each player gets one score tracker and one player meeple. Each player gets 10 yes coins and 10 no coins. Each player gets a number of guessing cards which match the number of players. I have said each player a lot now. The youngest player starts with drawing two question cards. The player chooses one of the cards and discards the other. Each player secretly answers the question by putting a yes or no coin in the secret box. Be prepared, I'm going to say each player again. Each player choose a guessing card which they think will match the number of yes coins in the secret box. All players flip their guessing cards at the same time. Any player which guessed correctly gets a point. The game ends when someone reaches 5 points. First time I've ever done something like that. Was it good for you? Anyway, my way of playing the game today is very simple. I'm going to pick a question card and if I have done the thing on the card, I'm going to have to drink. So I am basically just going to play a fancier version of Never Have I Ever, but with much more imaginative questions. So if you're not underage and not driving somewhere later, that's important, you're welcome to have this drink with me. Yeah. You guys are basically my excuse for drinking alone. You know that, right? I've actually been kind of afraid this was going to be boring. Not because of the questions at all, but people, also people who knows me, tend to believe that I have done a lot of crazy sexual stuff and been with a lot of different people, when the truth is very different. Yeah. Let's see if I get to reveal it. First question. I have imagined having sex with someone playing this game now. I'm playing alone! I'm drinking for that one. Might as well make this sadder. 
I'll try to show you some of the cards because the artwork is, like I said, really cute. Like, look at that. How can you make a striptease look cute? Have I done a striptease? Yeah. Well, I've been in fairly long relationships, so yeah. I have fought it during sex. <laughs> Me. Uh, of course I have. Who haven't cracked one during sex? I have. I don't think I have to elaborate on that because it's quite simple. Like, we had sex, I fought it. I have had sex in a public restroom. Yes, I, uh, I have, yeah, done that a few times. I did that a lot with my um, ex-boyfriends in my teen years. And I haven't really done it after the age of 20 because, uh, it's just not that sexy. I have used handcuffs. Yes, I have. I have had some very, very kinky, <laughs> pink, fluffy handcuffs. And I actually bought them at this weird store at a train station in Ulnse. And I obviously bought it for fun. I was like 17. And I used them with my back then boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend. And it, again, it's not really something I'm that into. It's just annoying. <laughs> did I drink? I don't remember. I don't think I did. I have had sex while my slash my partner's parents were in the other room. Yeah, I've also done that. <laughs> it's always good that I start off saying that I haven't done many crazy sexual things and then I end up having done most of these. <laughs> My body is really hot. Okay. Do I think my body is really hot? I'm not ashamed of my body. I have a great butt. You need to love your body, okay? <laughs> I have had sex with someone of the same gender. No, I haven't had sex with a girl. And that is because I, I like boys and I'm not attracted to girls at all. I mean, I can think they're pretty, but that's it. I have slept with someone out of pity. I actually have, but it was my ex-boyfriend and it was after a long time where we hadn't been boyfriend and girlfriend and we've kind of had this on and off friends with benefits kind of thing going on. And I said to him like, this is the last time I'm coming to visit you. And after that, it's, it's over because this thing we have is kind of toxic for both of us. And, um, yeah, when I got to his place, I actually, the feelings were just gone. Like, I saw him as a friend, but nothing more than that. And I would say I wasn't that keen on having sex with him. I, I only did it because it was a long time since I've had sex and because he obviously wanted to. And I'm not saying the sex was bad, it wasn't, but I uh, mostly did it out of pity and for my own benefit, which is not okay. But, hey, what's done is done. I'm going to take a good swig. I have masturbated more than 10 times in a week. Whoa, um, no, I haven't. That would be like more than one time a day some days. Uh, no, I don't have that kind of time <laughs> or lust <laughs> for that matter. With that being said, if you have done it that often, good for you, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> By the way, look, look at how sad this picture is. I have slept with someone who was married to someone else. No, he wasn't married to her, but I have slept with someone who had a girlfriend. So I will take a half swig on that. And I guess I owe you a bit of a story. I'm not going to mention any names at all out of respect for him. Uh, he's not with her anymore. But when I was younger, I was very in love with someone and uh, he had a girlfriend and she absolutely hated my guts. I was very good friends with him. And in the beginning, I didn't want to be more than friends with him at all um, because he had a girlfriend. But the fact that she started hating my guts for no reason other than I was a girl who was his friend because he didn't know how I felt and she didn't know how I felt. And uh, at first I wasn't going to do anything about it. But as soon as he told me she didn't like me, I wanted to give her a reason for not liking me. I don't think she ever found out, but even though I didn't like her 
it was a shitty thing to do. Like, it's not something you do. It's, it's not okay. But I was very young and very stupid and very much in love. And it's still not okay. Not okay. I have secretly followed my partner when I thought they were lying to me. No, I haven't done that. Um, I was a very jealous person in my teen years, especially with my first two relationships. It got better after that, like the third relationship I was also pretty jealous, but that was because he gave me a reason to be. But no, I never followed them somewhere because I thought they were lying to me, like, a bit too much. I could forgive my partner for cheating. <laughs> nope. As I said, I was a very jealous person throughout my teen years and I probably still am, but I'm in a very healthy relationship. You guys, do you know why girls can only go to the left? Because women have no rights. And he's never given me a reason to be jealous and I think that's where the problem lies in many relationships is that People kind of try to make each other a bit jealous just to know that they got them. I think that's how it works in many relationships and I think that's totally wrong. And I say that without knowing everything in the whole world. That's a statement, but Frederick has never given me a reason to be jealous. And I've never given him a reason to be jealous. And that's why I think I'm not a jealous person anymore. And if he broke that trust, I think I just couldn't be in it anymore. Like I couldn't trust him. Don't break the trust then you're fine. I have hooked up with a teacher or professor. No, and I never understood why some of my classmates had crushes on the teachers. I've never been into all the guys, That's, that might be why. But if you interpret this in another way, Frederick is kind of an English teacher and soon to be music teacher. So I have hooked up with a teacher. Does that deserve a drink? I think it does. I prefer doggy style over missionary, mi missionary, missionary precision. Do I? This is, this is going to be very TMI. I'd say no. Not because I don't enjoy doggy style. I think it's really very sexy. But when you have a partner that you love very much, it's just nice being able to see their face. And when you're a girl in the doggy style position, you can't really see much. My first time was before I was 15 years old. No, 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 no. I just turned 15. Ha! No, it was not. And don't worry, I had a very good experience the first time because I had a boyfriend whom I was very much in love with and he was very much in love with me. So I have used sex toys. What 25 year old person has never tried sex toys? Like, try it if you haven't. I have cried during sex. No, I, I. I'm pretty happy to say that I haven't. I've been caught having sex. Yes, I've been caught by a friend when I was at boarding school. And I'm pretty sure it was on purpose. I was disappointed the first time I saw my current most recent partner naked. No, no, I was not. Oh, that's so mean. No, not at all. He also has a great butt and broad shoulders. I have faked an orgasm. Girls, 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 girls who haven't. Just to make them happy, right? I've probably had like four boyfriends and I say probably because the second one was not really official. We were just dating exclusively for three months. It was not really that serious, but um, hey, it was exclusive. Uh, and um, he was, never able to get me to orgasm. Like he had a huge <laughs> but he didn't know how to use it and it, it really hurt. And he kind of thought he had to stick the tongue into the <laughs> Which is the weirdest feeling in the world and I hated it. And we didn't really know each other so well that I could just stand up and say, look, here's how you do it. So yeah, I never told him. I hope he found out. I really hope so. Did I drink on that one? If my best friend's hot partner wanted to sleep with me secretly, I would do it. 
I can say with almost 100% certainty that that would never happen. Like one of my best traits is that I am very loyal and I'm not really that social of a person. Like if I have to fall in love with someone, it would mean that I had to spend a lot of time alone with them, getting to know them, them getting to know me and how they react to how I am and so on. And again that would require a lot of alone time and i would just never do that with my friend's boyfriend it would just not be natural to me so i would never do it i've had a friends with benefits relationship yeah as i said at the start of this video um i haven't been with many but those i've been with i've been with many times. Almost all of my ex-boyfriends has at some point in my life been upgraded to friends with benefits. <laughs> Except that second guy I talked about earlier because he, I couldn't do that to myself again. <laughs> Cheers. I have stalked an ex. <laughs> like I have never physically stalked an ex but on social media, yeah, who haven't? <laughs> Why am I drinking when I don't have to? <laughs> the eternal question of adult life. I have had more than 40 sex partners. More like if you remove the zero, that would be correct. And they've all been my boyfriend at some point in my life. And if you've had more than 40 sex partners or more than 100 even, I don't mind at all. I think it's only healthy to be comfortable with your own sexuality. You've just met a lot more people you wanted to have sex with than I have. I just need to have feelings involved. And before I met Frederick, I would even envy you because it is freaking complicated being friends with benefits with an ex. So yeah, no matter if you're a man or a woman, if you've been with many, not that many, or not at all, it doesn't matter to me because you do you. That's the most important thing. And that sounds <laughs> really very wrong when you say it in that context, but you know what I mean, right? And now I'm drinking again, even though I don't have to. I have videotaped myself having sex no, 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 I haven't. I haven't done that. Why am I drinking when I don't have to? I have sent naked pictures to someone. I've actually done that with most of my partners, but I always made sure that they send one back. Hashtag backup nudes. Wait, did I drink? <laughs> this video is just going to be one pile of, did I drink? So yeah, that was a full deck of cards and I have cut some of it because or else it will be a very long video. It probably already is. Very good questions actually. I have to pee. So that was it for this video guys. I hope I didn't scare you off. I've always been very comfortable talking about stuff like this. And it's not just because I'm drunk right now or have been tipsy while answering these questions. Uh, I've always, for as long as I can remember, been the one my friends talk to about these kind of things. One not very close friend once told me that I was the only one she felt comfortable with when talking about embarrassing topics and that made me feel a bit proud because people can be so judgmental and so sensitive and especially in this day and age and sometimes you just need someone to agree with you that cystitis sucks and crooked <coughs> are completely normal and picking your nose is much better than having a flaky booger the rest of the day it just is and for that image you're welcome <gasps> uh, cheers so Leave a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to me if you want more because I really hope to see your beautiful face in my next video. Now I'm going to annoy Fredrick. Bye!